Welcome back again to Can I Has Buff, the Warframe series that takes older or weaker weapons and puts them under the spotlight, highlighting their weaknesses and offering suggestions to buff them to fit with the current game. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Convectrix, a slash-based beam weapon that first fires two laser beams that converge to a single point, allowing the weapon to spread procs and damage in a wide radius. The Convectrix was released on October 1st, 2015 in the Jordis Precept update, which also introduced the Atlas Warframe. While considered to be a shotgun by the game as it uses shotgun mods, its closest comparison is actually the Flux Rifle, which is also a slash-based continuous beam weapon. Both deal damage ticks at the same rate, at about 3 times per second, but the Convectrix does more damage and the Flux Rifle has better status. Despite using ammo fairly slowly, the Convectrix uses uncommon shotgun ammo drops for ammunition, so it can be depleted on some mission types, but Carrier's ammo case ability is enough to replenish ammo, as long as it is still alive at least. In terms of functionality, holding down the fire button will start the beams out from afar and then bring them in as the fire button is held. Letting go will bring the beams back out, and this feature can allow the user to hold and let go of the fire button to sweep crowds of enemies to spread procs and damage across them, like a shotgun would. This feature is most similar to the Phage, but the Phage is equipped with more beams, so it's more consistent against small crowds. The Convectrix also has a decent crit chance of 10%, but due to it being a beam weapon, this is not consistent to rely on, but it does help as a passive way of getting high damage headshots occasionally. The main problem besides low damage compared to other actual shotguns and even some other beam weapons is its sweeping mechanic. Besides the damage being split between the two beams when they are not crossed together, which means even less damage per second for those enemies, the beam also consumes ammo as long as it is being projected regardless if the player is holding down the fire button or not. While in short term this is mild, the ammo consumption used to charge and release the beam does add up and causes a lot of ammo loss when using fire rate. Speaking of fire rate, since the weapon does use ammo slowly and fires slow enough, fire rate to increase status is actually recommended as the cost in ammo consumption is minimal compared to the increase in status per second. But now, let us talk about some buffs. A buff centered around connecting the beam on enemies, this would force a slash proc to occur as well as set the enemy on fire with a heat proc regardless of mods as the superheated beams connect and deal tremendous thermal damage. A minor buff, but one that would really help the weapon. When the beam is connected onto an enemy, they will begin to glow on that spot and enemies within 3 meters will suffer mild heat damage with the chance to proc heat based on the weapon's status chance per second. This would allow players to focus damage on a heavier unit, but still cause crowd control and mild damage to nearby enemies. Due to the smaller beams dealing half the damage and due to the fact that they spread out fairly quickly, I propose that these two beams will have a 100% status per second at base added to them so they spread procs consistently compared to the main beam. Players often don't use the beam feature because it does even less damage and it does not guarantee any procs. While the player would still need almost 400% status per second on the beams to make them proc with every tick of damage, this will mean that at least half of the ticks the player deals with these two beams will proc status effects, making it more useful. And that's the Convectrix, a beam weapon that can spread damage over crowds or focus in on heavier units to deal more damage. If you like this episode of Can I Has Buff, show your support by giving it a like or comment on my buff suggestions and give your own buff suggestions. In any case, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Can I Has Buff.